Welcome back to TEC Tube. We have yet another Economizer video for you guys, but this one's a little bit different. This one's kind of a special request that several of you guys asked for. You want to know specifically how to set up a Jade Economizer controller with a Ventstar T4900 thermostat for code compliance in Illinois and other IECC 2015 states. So this video assumes you already know Economizers. If you don't, watch one of our previous videos. Assumes you already know what's going on and we're gonna go ahead and dive right into what you specifically need to wire and configure to, for the extra things to comply with code. So let's get started. There's two major things we're gonna to need to configure on this economizer controller and thermostat in order to comply with the code. The first of those two things is the occupancy interlock. So we need to have something tell the economizer controller when the building is occupied or unoccupied. There's numerous ways to do that. One logical way to do that would be with the thermostat itself because that should already know the schedule of the building. So we need to wire from the stat to the economizer controller and then tell the settings in the stat what we're doing and tell the economizer controller what we're doing. So from a wiring standpoint, over here on our economizer controller, we have a terminal labeled OCC for occupancy. That is an input terminal. It is waiting for a signal from somebody to tell him he is occupied. Then on our thermostat, if we pop him open, take a look at the inside here, we have this aux terminal on here. AUX. That's a flexible terminal that we can program to do whatever we want. And in our case, we're going to program it to be an output based on time schedule. So let's go ahead and do that now. Once we have these two components physically wired to each other, then we need to set them up to actually do what we need. So on the thermostat, we're going to go to the setup button under the little door down here. That tells us to use the up and down warmer buttons. And we can use the, uh, the mode button to toggle up to the settings that we need. So there's two settings we're going to look at for the occupancy. One is setting 54 and 55. So if I just scroll up to those guys, 54 is the aux output polarity. And I can switch it with the up and down arrows on him to be open or closed. So we're going to be normally opened on that. And then as I scroll up to the next option, 55, what do I want my aux output to actually do? So my choices are economizer, external, temp, time. And in our case, we're going to pick economizer. Then over on our economizer controller, we need to tell him to accept this signal. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go through this guy and go to the system setup mode, hit enter, and we're going to scroll down until we get to a little bit fast, OCC. So on that one, our choices are input or always, and we want to have him set up for input on there. The second thing that we need to set up on these controllers is we need to have it set up for alarming. So the economizer controller detects its own alarms and it sends those alarms over to the thermostat. So on that particular situation, we have to do the same kind of thing. We got to wire them up correctly and then we got to program them correctly. So on the economizer controller, we have this aux 1-O for output, so auxiliary one output. I need to wire from him and common, those two terminals go to my relay on my input side, on my coil side of my relay. Then the output side of that relay will need to come down over here to the controller on the wall, which is our thermostat in this case. Open him back up. So on our thermostat controller, we have this one labeled dry contact. There's two terminals there. Do not wire directly from the economizer controller to the thermostat. There needs to be an isolation relay between those two devices. So from aux one output on the economizer and common to the relay, then from the relay to the dry contact inputs on the stat. That's our wiring scenario. Down in the notes of the video in the description, you'll find a link to a detailed wiring diagram and cheat sheet for this exact topic that we're talking about. So once we have these two guys wired with each other, we're gonna to need to configure them both again. So on our economizer controller, we're still under the system setup. If I go up one higher than the occupancy, I have the aux one out. If I hit enter, I can change that. My choices here, as you will see, are ERV, exhaust fan two, or system. I'm gonna pick system and save that. 
What that does is it sends out any system alarms from the economizer controller out on that AUX1 output signal. Then over here on my thermostat, I need to set him up to accept that signal properly. And the reason we're setting these both up is those inputs and outputs on both the economizer and the thermostat are used for multiple features. So we basically need to tell it which feature we want to use it for. So once again, under setup, I can use my mode button to scroll through. And in this case, I want to get up to settings 64 and 65. So on setting 64, that tells me what my contact's going to be. I want it to be normally open. So that's what it is right now. If it wasn't, I can change it by hitting the up and down arrows between open and close. So I want normally open. Then I can hit the mode button and go to setting 65. And that tells it what I want to use this feature for. My choices are uh, an occupied input, which I don't want, holiday, no, FDD. That's the one I want. Fault, detection, and diagnostics. So as you can see, my screen says the dry contact input is being used for FDD, fault detection and diagnostics. So now whenever my economizer controller has an alarm, that'll be sent out on that aux output signal, wired over to the dry contact input of my stat. And then, then on the screen of my thermostat, it'll say equipment fault whenever there's an economizer failure. As you can see, there's not as much complexity to that as you might've thought there was, but there are a few things we do have to set up on both the economizer controller and the thermostat in order for them to play nice together on this code discussion. And then obviously there's a couple more wires that we normally would have as well. Hopefully that helps you guys set these up in the field. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Good.